Here I'm just going to show you how to create shadow designs in Illustrator using just got a basic square and now I'm just going to go over to the effect and stylize and drop shadow preview and I'm going to change the color now that to black and you'll see obviously a shadow there now I could at this point just go there just go over to graphic styles if you can't see that that's window graphic styles and just create a shadow style there's the first style now you can create more much more complicated styles than that drop shadow styles you can just go over here and I'm just going to go over to the appearance palette if you can't see the appearance palette just go to window appearance and just go there drop shadow go up to the top there duplicate item or just click here which I'm just going to do just click that and that creates another shadow and let someone just show got various settings there and you can actually change those settings you don't have to go with those settings you can actually go to say minus 30 maybe 120 set preview on I wish it was a, a sticky preview so you could actually see the preview change the blur also you can also change the color if you wish as well right so you've actually got that, another blur there click OK so you've actually got two shadows so two shadows there of course you can continue create even more complex designs so I'm just gonna just go and say duplicate item again and just gonna go now maybe set the blur 20 game preview set that on it's much easier to actually see what you're doing 23 you can change the opacity as well of the blur change the position again so 120 and click OK and at this point of course you can also save that as a graphic style once you've done that click OK of course you can just remove that and the, the appearance palette is the best place to actually change this you can actually move them around just move those drop shadows maybe even apply them to the stroke and not to the fill itself okay so you can actually just do that you can just drag it across you actually see it move into the stroke Obviously, there's nothing there actually visible. But I can actually save that at this point. I don't actually have to have a thing. So I can actually new graphic style. So that one's been saved as well. Just go over here, create another path. Lips. Yeah, I can do that. Click. Click there. And you can see you've got vast numbers of different shadow styles in a few seconds now of course you can also not only that you can apply it to text as well so some just basic text and just go over here again just click there and you'll see the different shadow designs that you can create in Illustrator. Now this is for Illustrator CC, CS6, CS5, etc. Now there's also another tool that's probably even more useful for creating different uh, shadow effects and you can also use that with Phantasm and that's over here. It's a stylism tool. You can find that from Astute Graphics. Very interesting thing. There's a trial version available on their website and you can create all kinds of shadow, drop shadow styles and effects using that. I hope you found this quick run through of the shadow of interest. Thank you much.